Good morning, traders, and welcome to Trading Ways Weekly Outlook, where we will be looking how the market performed in the previous week and what we're expecting uh, going forward to the new week. Right, so those of you not too familiar with my voice, my name is Sandy Lenovo. So Victor is not available today. I'm one of the chat analysts with Trading Waves. So I'm the one who's going to be conducting this uh, session. Right, so without wasting any time, what you're seeing on the screen now, our contact details. So if you wish to contact us regarding any of our services, please, you can email us there at info, tra uh, info at uh, trading-waves.com. Uh, there's our WhatsApp or Telegram number there. So there's a lot that is happening on a Telegram. Uh, so you might consider to join our channel there. You can just uh, uh, go through this here. This will take you exactly to our Telegram channel. If it does not take you straight to our Telegram channel, I'm going to correct this here because I see there's a little something that is not looking right here. So I'm going to correct that. And below, you can follow us on our social media pages, both uh, trade, um, Twitter, uh, trading, uh, trading view and also on facebook as well right so uh, again uh, please take note of our timestamps uh, that are uploaded i know that everybody's not interested in watching the whole video so if you've got any space uh, below there that are uploaded uh, so let's get started let's see how did the market perform in the previous week uh, so we're going to be starting with the audi chief so let's have a look at the forecast uh, this has been the focus on our chief that the expectation was for this one year to give us a little bit of a drop and a move to the upside uh, here. So the bigger pictures for this move to the upside and a drop. So that's what you're not seeing now. Uh, let's have a look. How did uh, our chief uh, play out uh, them? Right, so let's have a look at our chief. As forecasted, we were expecting a little bit of a drop to the downside from around these areas here, and this move to the upside uh, here. We are still uh, making the move to the upside as forecasted, but somewhere around this area here, I do not expect that this is going to come around this area, but somewhere around this area here, we're going to be expecting to see a bearish move to the downside. Uh, um, uh, let's have a look at our New Zealand. Out in New Zealand, we've been talking about this one for quite some time. From these lows here, the focus was for this one to make a move to the upside uh, here. So I'm just showing you this one here. The focus when this was around there, we were expecting this to be a three-wave move right into the blue box. And if you recall very well, uh, on the previous week, we, even when we were around this area, yeah, the focus was for this one to drop in a three-wave moves and expected that one to make a move to the upside. Now let's have a look at this one, how it has played out. Uh, out in New Zealand has moved over 400 pips just from around this area here. So the focus was for this one to have been into the blue box where what you are saw right now was when this was here, the focus was for this one to make a move to the upside here. Yeah. This has made uh, almost 400 pips and the expectation will still fall for this one to continue with that bullish move to the upside. Let's have a look at the next one. That will be uh, Euro New Zealand. Uh, Euro New Zealand, uh, we're looking at this one to make a move to the upside after we've got this impulsively move here, the expected for this one to give us a three-wave move and a move to the upside before we see this one dropping to a downside uh, here. And I'm sure if you're a trader, you've seen that uh, Euro New Zealand has dropped over 1,400 pips. So we got the move to a downside that was expected here and this move to the upside here before we saw this drop. Just this from around this era to here, this has traded over 1,400 uh, peeps. Uh, the next one was the EuroCAD. There are quite a few of them, so I'm going to go as fast as I can there, guys. So the EuroCAD, the expectation was this one to drop here and then they move to the upside before we see the major drop to a downside. So uh, this one as well, I'm sure you've seen how EuroCAD has dropped from the peaks uh, here to the upside, so that the forecast was for this one to drop and they move to the upside and this one to drop uh, here. So just this move alone here, yeah, this is over 700 pips that we've seen dropping on a EuroCAD. I'm not uh, even uh, calculating this one here. So this move to the upside was like 500 pips to the upside and this one has traded over the 700 pips to the down uh, side. Let's have a look at the next one. That was a Euro US dollar. For the past uh, few weeks, we've been talking about Euro started do not go along instead look for the short opportunity to a downside even when we were around this era here if you remember the forecast when we were around this era here the focus was for the move to the upside and a drop to the downside uh, here we got that again when we were around this era here we said this was a sharp three waves corrective structure you must expect that euro US dollar is going to continue with the drop you can refer on the previous uh, weekly outlook that we've had so euro, uh, euro US dollar as expected we've got this one to have traded lower over 400 
50 pips from exactly when we discussed this move to the downside uh, here. So almost about 6,000 pips of uh, the charts I'm going to represent you that we've been able to give this to our members. So remember these charts are given to our members before these move they take place. Uh, we, we do update our charts uh, almost every day during the London Open and also the New York uh, Open. Very interesting what is happening uh, there. But this does not just go, uh, we do not just uh, uh, trade these here. We've got a special indicator that help us to see when the move is ready to take off. So just like uh, here, when we saw this three-wave move, we said this year this was ready to go because our special indicator was telling us that Euro US dollar was ready for the bearish move to the down uh, side. And that is exactly what has taken place. DXY, obviously, it will be the inversely correlated to what is happening with uh, Euro US dollar. The indicator confirmed that when we were around this area, this was ready to make a move to the upside. And the interesting thing is that somebody could have just came and said, we still expect to see more move to a downside here yeah, because they expect that all the corrective structures all the time is going to be at the equal legs. Per the LO12 theory, uh, Euro US dollar was the one that had a very clear corrective structure. And based on that, we said that DXY was ready, uh, was already completed this wave four, and it was ready to make a move to the upside. The Bureau of this, we even had the invalidation levels to our members that whatever happens, provided that the price was staying above this year, we should expect that DXY to be making a move to the upside. Not even a, a at some point, we look for this one to continue a bearish move because we knew uh, uh, the cycle and the sequence was already calling for this one to have already completed. And you can see this has traded over 500 pips, just this move uh, here. So we are around this era here and we expected that this was going to make a move to the upside. And that has exactly what has happened with the DXY. Right, so let's have a look at the pound yen. So pound JPY, uh, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit of this here. Yeah, the focus was for this one. Uh after we saw this move to the downside yeah, the forecast was for these three waves and the move to the upside uh, here. Um, uh, but what we discussed with our members was that as much as this was very good looking for a bullish move to the upside, but the bigger picture that we've always had in mind was for the pound yen to start to be dropping to the downside. And guess what? We were uh, we were short uh, here around this era here. At the same time, when we got this around this era here, we went long without closing our position because we had the in mind, all what we wanted to see was for this invalidation level here. We had an invalidation level here, and we said we want to see the price to be taking this low here. If it does that, then we are going to uh, have a loss on our long position, but we're still holding our short here because we know that an invalidation of this year is going to call for pound yen to drop to the downside. Indeed, uh, this was invalidated, but also validating the bearish move to the downside. Hence, you saw our forecast that after we this is invalidated, we look at this as a correct structure and we expected to see more bearish move to the downside. Let's have a look how did pound yen play after that. You've seen this has traded uh, over 330 pips just from this uh, peak here to here. This has traded over 330 pips and the expectations for this one to still continue with the drop to the downside. So remember what I've said that I'm representing the charts that have uh, yield over 6,000 uh, pips. Let's have a look at the next one. That would be Euro Yen. Obviously, when you focus Pound Yen to make a bearish move to a downside, you would be expecting that Euro Yen is going to do the same. And if you remember very well for the previous week, we said uh, here, I'm just representing this here on the four hour, on the one hour chart, but we were looking at this here to be a three waves corrective structure. Uh, you can go to the timestamps. And from these highs here, we said we expect that Euro Yen should continue with drop to the downside there. From these highs here, this has already traded over 700 to 800 uh, pips. But the focus that I'm showing you here was from around this era here. Even when we got here, we said still expect to see more bearish move to the downside on Euro JPY. Even the last week, you can refer to that uh, video there. How did Euro JPY play out? From around this era here, this has traded over 550 pips, just this move alone here. And the expectation would be for this one that it still trades a little bit lower. And then we're going to be expecting a move to the upside. And I'm going to show you that when you go on the live analysis. Why do I expect that move to the upside? Kedian, 
I'm sure you've seen this one. So when we went around this area here, we're looking at this one to be a three wave corrective structure here. It did not just go in the three wave corrective structure that we expected, but it's still heading down in a three wave corrective structure. It's just that the corrective structure here in the middle, it has expanded uh, here. Instead of just being a simple three wave structure like this, it has been uh, uh, our corrective structure here in the middle has been a flagged uh, corrective structure here. So the focus was for this one. This was on a Thursday during the London surgeon that we're expecting. Uh, uh, there's a chart that I should have showed you here that we expected a little bit of a push to the upside before we see this drop uh, here. And if you can already know that you, uh, Kate JPY has traded over uh, 190 pips just from this peak uh, here, and we're still expecting that this is going to continue with the move to the downside. But that does not mean that you just go and sell this because you are seeing this already dropping, because at some point this can even give you a three-way move here and still make this drop before we see a continuation move to the upside. So be careful uh, 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 about that. Let's have a look at the next one that has been a uh, Euro Chief. Eurochief, you've seen this one. Uh, the forecast was for this one to make a move to the downside from around this era here. I'm just showing you this one when it was uh, when we're looking for a trade setup. But from exactly at this peak here, we said this was going to drop. Now, once you've seen that this is going to drop, how do you approach this? How do you get an entry here? So with the strategy that we use here, we said uh, we should be expecting a three-wave move right into the blue box, and we expected this drop to a downside uh, here. Now, if you look at Eurochief, this has traded over five. 550 pips here just from around the area of a blue box and the expectations for this one to still continue with the move to a downside but you've got to be careful you don't want to sell when this has already made this 500 uh, pip move here at some point this is going to start to make a move to the upside you'll see that why i'm saying that when we start with the market analysis the next one has been a euro pound uh, the forecast has been for this one to continue the drop after we saw this move to a downside there and this three wave collective structure we said from this peak here, we should expect euro pound to continue with the drop. Now, euro pound has already dropped over 245 pips just from that uh, peak alone. So this has already dropped 245 pips and the expectation will be for this one to still continue a drop before we can expect a move to the upside. Let's have a look at the next one. Uh, brand crude oil, just a reminder where we're coming from with this year. Brand crude oil has moved over 120 pips uh, per barrel, over $120 per barrel. And the expectation is for this one to continue with the move to the upside. We were around the era of $86 per barrel, and we forecasted that this should continue with the bullish move to the upside. And everybody has seen that brown crude oil, it keeps on making those new highs. So we were around this era here, and we expected this to continue the move to the upside. And we are still calling for this one here to make one more leg to the upside before we can even consider to make a move to the down uh, side. But for now, the bearish move, uh, the move to the, uh, the bias move on the brand crude oil would be for that bullish move to the upside. And lastly, let's have a look at UK 100. The focus was for this one to make a move to the upside. We're looking at this one to be an ending uh, diagonal here. And from there, we're expecting to see this one to drop. So everybody have seen that the UK 100 has made a big move to the downside over 670 something pips here. And the expectations for this one to still continue with that bearish move to the downside. So any three will pull back around this area here, you can still look for the bearish move to the downside on UK 100. All right, so that's how we've been uh, traded uh, over uh, uh, 6,000 pips. Now let's get down to the market analysis and let's see what we expect uh, going forward. We're going to be starting with the, uh, the DXY. A dollar index, you've seen this one yet. Yeah? The expectations for this one to still continue with the move to the upside, but I'm just going uh, through it uh, here. All right, let's just uh, give it some time there. It's loading. Uh, the DXY. Right, so the DXY on a four hour time frame, uh, the expectation is for this one to keep on uh, making a move to the upside. At least that's what the indicator is telling us uh, for now, that we should expect to see a continuation move to the upside. But obviously, you don't want to come and uh, consider to buy this uh, after this huge move. You need to see a three ways pullback, and then we're going to be looking for a continuation move to the upside here on the DXY. So just be mindful. You saw that during the, uh, the trade caps, we're looking at this one to have been our way 
wave four here. So we already seen this one to be a five wave moves here. So this could be one, two, a three, four, wave five here. So at some point, this might even start to give us a bigger pullback, but we're gonna have to wait for the market to confirm that this is the case. For now, the expectation is for this one to keep on trading with the move to the upside on the DXY. So we've covered this one. I'm gonna be going as fast as I can here. Let's have a look at um, Euro US dollar before we can look at the other instruments. Euro US dollar should be the same as well. Yeah, we are still expecting to see this one to be giving us this bearish move to our downside. So if the structure is not clear on the DXY, you can just continue to come and have a look at what is happening on the Euro US dollar. So just like the DXY, this could be a wave one, a two, a three here, and a wave four, and this to be a wave five. Uh, that could be. It's not uh, exactly as I'm, I'm, sharing, um, I'm sharing here. The expectation will be for this one to continue with this bearish move. At most, what before you can even consider to sell this year, you're going to have to get a three waves pullback. Uh, yeah, once we see a three wave pullback indicator confirming for a bearish move here, we are still going to be taking this one to the downside on Euro US dollar. Pound US dollar, on the other hand, the expectation was for this one uh, to continue with a bullish move to the upside, but that has not been the case with the pound US dollar. But we still have got a critical level before we can consider to call this one a, a bearish move to our downside. So we're looking at this one to open an impulsively move. Move, and this to have been a three wave move to the upside here. Yeah? And the expectation will be for this one to make a move to the upside. It's either from here it makes a big move to the upside, or it's just gonna be a three wave creative structure like this one and expect this one to make a bearish move to the downside. But uh, just to give you a clue here, yeah? if it takes this low here, if you can get pound US dollar to be taking this low here, then you must expect that the bullish move is, is going to be invalidated. Instead, this is just gonna come back and take around this area here and then give us that bearish move to the down uh, side. So for my experience, the market will not take this low here. That is to get everybody confused because if it does take this set start to give us this move to the upside, it should be very obvious that we are going to see that bearish move to our downside. But get this one to make a move, uh, an impulsively move from around this area here, then you can look for at least back to around this area here before you can consider a bearish move to the down uh, side. Right, so let's have a look at the next one. That will be uh, US dollar chief. So US dollar chief, uh, we will be expecting to see some bullish move to the upside, but not immediately. Yeah, if you look at the structure here, yeah, this does not look like it's gonna make any move to the uh, to the upside, even though I'm looking at this to be an impulsively move. So we could be having this one here to be a three wave move to a downside uh, here to complete, at least not to come and take this low. Then from there, we can expect to see that move to the upside. I think it will make sense if we are expecting Euro US dollar to drop. So we're going to be expecting US dollar chief to make a move to the upside. The two instruments are negatively correlated and the DXY is positively correlated to US dollar chief. So DXY is expected to make a move to the upside. So you should expect that eventually US dollar chief is going to make that move to the upside. Right, so let's have a look at Audi US dollar. Audi US dollar, the focus on the previous week was for this one to continue the bearish move to a downside, but unfortunately that has not been the case. It has made this move here and it has taken this high here. If you will recall, we were able to trade this year for a move to a downside and we're looking at this to have completed our wave B and this to have been a start of a move to a downside. We got the few pips to the downside, over 300 pips and the expectation was for this one to give us a three wave moves and a move to a downside. But now what we are looking at this year at a bigger peak, that the wave B that we've had around this area here might have not completed. So we're looking at this one to be an expanding flat corrective structure here. This to be a three wave move to the upside, three wave move down here. Uh, if you're a bit confused, why am I looking at this as a three wave move here? We've got a, a running flat in the middle there and we are looking at this here to be a three wave move here. So the overall picture that we're looking at is for this one to be an expanding flat corrective structure that we're gonna be expecting to see this one to be making a move to the downside. Yeah, so watch out for uh, Audi US dollar here. As as much as the Audi and the New Zealand are showing some strength to the upside, I believe it's because of the fundamentals that are taking place in Europe. So the two uh, uh, currencies here yeah, are a bit far from what is happening, even though that is uh, affecting the world. But uh, don't be surprised if this might keep on making this move to the upside here. Yeah? But eventually, we're going to be looking at this here to be an expanding flat corrective structure here. And then we're going to be looking for that move to the upside. So you're going to have to wait for an impulsive remove that would be convincing. Obviously, we were using the indicator. Once that confirms, then we're going to be looking for the bearish move to a downside on Audi US dollar. Same thing, uh, similar to New Zealand US dollar, we will be looking for this one 
to continue the bearish move to a downside. We are looking at this one to have completed our wave B here. As much as our US dollar have invalidated the structure, so far New Zealand US dollar has not invalidated the structure. We saw this one to have been an impulsively move being our wave one. So we're looking at this one here to be our wave two against this swing high. A break of this high here won't be, meaning that this is going to make a big move to the upside. We could be having our wave A. This whole move here could have ended here. And this is the start of our wave B. And then we see a bearish move to the uh, downside uh, here. But against this swing high, for now, we are looking at this one to be a three wave move corrective structure here. And then we're going to be looking for the bearish move to our downside. But you don't have to try and pick that uh, top there. You're going to have to wait for the market to talk to us by giving us an impulsive move. Then we can respond accordingly by looking for the short opportunity to the downside. Uh, for now, all we know is that this can continue with this move to the upside. There's nothing wrong with uh, that. But uh, I like the idea of going short to New Zealand US dollar. US dollar cared. The expectation is for this one to continue a bullish move to the upside. On our Telegram uh, page, uh, like I've said, that we've started to post some interesting um, Almost a daily year, we try to post uh, something there that uh, is fully shared to our members. So we're looking at this one here to have made a move to the upside uh, here. And we are looking at this one to be our wave one. Uh, let me just uh, zoom in this uh, here. Let me go on a full screen here. I will show you uh, uh, this year. We are looking at this one to have been an impulsively move to the upside. This to have been our wave one. And this to have been a three wave move to our downside, being our W. Three wave move to the upside, our uh, wave X, and this to be a three wave move to a downside. So we're looking at this here to be an expanding flat corrective structure, and the expectation will be for this one to make a move to the upside. And I think it will make sense if we are looking at Euro US dollar to drop, even though Brent crude oil keeps on making the new highs. So we know that. US dollar cared and Brent crude oil are negatively correlated. So you would expect that when Brent crude oil continues to move to the upside, and then you get US dollar cared to be dropping. But for now, as long as this is going to be trading above this uh, swing low here, you're going to be looking at this here to be an expanding flat corrective structure. And you've seen this impulsively move. So you might get this one to be a three wave moves against this swing low here. Then you can look for a trade setup for that bullish move to the upside. A break of this low here, then it will be calling for this one to continue with the bearish move to the down air side. But for now, our key level is going to be that uh, swing uh, low. There was a possible trade setup that was shared to our uh, free members here on Telegram somewhere here when we saw this year we saw that this could be a trade setup for a move to the upside against this swing low. Unfortunately that did not play out but uh, the beauty of this year this was a very low risk uh, trade. It was a very low risk trade we've shared this year even when we got this got invalidated we still shared that we are now seeing that this is going to make a move to the upside uh, here. So what we did not see here was for this one that this was a three wave moves, a three wave moves here. So the market was just giving us this last three wave moves here. Now we are getting this one to be making a move to the upside. And the beauty of this, it has taken this previous, the first previous uh, high. So I'm going to be expecting to see this one to be a pullback and a continuation move to the upside there on US dollar cat. All right, uh, so let's have a look at the next one here. Uh, it will be US dollar JPY. So US dollar JPY, uh, it looks like we're still gonna see one more leg to the downside uh, here. I'm looking at this one to be a structure here. This to have been uh, uh, an 11 swing, swing to 11 swing sequence to the downside three wave moves here as our connector here. So I'm going to be expecting to see this one here to be a three wave moves, at least to come back around these lows here. From there, you're going to be expecting to see this one to be a bullish move to the upside. It's a simple W here, uh, wave X, three wave move to the downside to be a uh, wave Y here. Then from there, we're going to be expecting to see a continuation move to the upside uh, here on US dollar JPY. Right, so pound yen, you've seen this one. The expectation is for this one to keep on dropping to a downside after we've completed these five wave moves a uh, year. Okay, so uh, we have been looking at this one to have been our wave four here. This is, has been an expanding or a running flat creative structure rather. We're looking at this to have been our wave four. And from these lows here, we were looking for the five wave move to the upside. So we've got this one to have been our wave one, a two, a three here, our wave four, and this here have been our wave five. Look like it has already ended the circuit to the upside. Now the expectation will be against this swing highs here. We continue to see this one to be dropping to a downside. So we're going to be looking for the pullbacks in 3711 swing and looking for the short opportunity into a downside on pound a yen. Euro JPY, 
because I was going to explain this one here. So uh, if you remember from the previous week, we were looking at this one to have been a three-wave move uh, to the downside uh, here. Uh, this to have been a three-wave move to a downside, this being an A, B, C here, and then this to be a three-wave move to the upside, and looking at this one here to be a three-wave move here. This is a sharp three-wave moves uh, here. Now the expectation will be for that one to make a move to the upside. I know this looks a bit uglier, so somebody could be saying, I'm looking at this here to be an A here, and this whole thing here to be our wave B. There's nothing wrong with that. This could be the structure here, and this could be our way and a move to the upside. If this obvious, this being a wave A here, this would be our wave B, and we can look at this here to be our wave C. But eventually, you're going to be expecting to see that bullish move to the upside. But based on what is happening between uh, the war that is taking place in Europe, please do not try to pick the bottom here in Euro JPY. You rather wait for this. Uh, the Euro pairs, the Euro base pairs, all of them, uh, because of the fundamentals, they keep on dropping to a downside. So Euro JPY is one of those there. It can still keep on dropping to a downside. So you rather wait for at least an impulsively move that should be confirming. Then from there, we can start to look for the bullish move to the upside uh, there. So don't try to pick that uh, 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 bottom there. So Chief Yen, we're looking at this one to have completed a three wave move to the upside here, yeah, or basically the circuit to the upside. We're looking at this one to have already done yeah, this being an ABC here. Yeah, and now we are looking at this one against this swing high that you should be expecting to see a drop to a downside. So for now, you don't have to worry whether that drop is going to go all the way down here, yeah, or it's just going to be a, this three waves collective structure yeah, because it can still be a move to a downside here. Yeah, three wave move. I'm sure you've seen this one last week. The expectation was for this one to at least come around this area here against this swing high here and then this one to drop uh, here so i am uh, this looks like it is already done here so we might be done with this leg to the upside here obviously it did not get to the equal legs but it, it there's nothing wrong this can just uh, fall short here or terminate around the 0.618 so if you if if you get this one uh to at least trade and come and take these lows here then you can look for this three way pullback and look for a short opportunity to a downside but for now just to look for the equal legs of this move yeah, whether it's going to go all the way down, we are going to let the market to respond because this can still make this move to the upside here yeah, after completing this corrective structure here. Right, so let's have a look at care JPY. You've seen this one during the uh, the trade recap. We are still looking at this one to at least come back to around these uh, lows here. And then from there, we can expect to make a move to the upside. Three wave moves here and expanding fair quantitative structure. We're still going to be looking at this one to at least come around this area here against this swing low. We're going to be looking for care JPY to be making a move to the upside. So like I've indicated that you do not have to sell this here. This could have been an A here, a wave B and a wave C. And then it just trades lower from here. Or alternatively, if it's a WX, why then you might expect to see a three wave bounce here before we see a continuation and this move to the upside so that is why i'm saying you do not have to immediately jump into this because you're going to sell this here and the market is going to give you this three-way pullback so if you've missed to be able to trade this one you rather wait for this to complete the structure from here remember the bigger picture where it's always been against this swing low we are expecting that kjpy should continue with that move to the upside brand crude oil keep on trading higher could also result in having kjpy to follow their suit. So Newsland Yen, the expectation was for this one to drop, but it has made a nice, beautiful structure there. So we're looking at this one, that after this drop here, we are looking at this here to be a possible expanding flat creative structure here. It might take this high, and then we see this one to be making this bearish move to a downside. So just like the other rest of the pairs, you have to wait for a confirmation and impulsively move. Then from there, you can expect this dropped on uh, Newsland Yen. It will be the same as well with Audi JPY. Uh, the structures are almost the same here. We're looking at this one to have made an impulsively move to a downside. And then from there, we are looking at this one to be a three waves collective structure, at least to come around this area here. And then from there, we can expect to see this one to be dropping for one more leg before we can expect a move to the upside. You don't have to worry about the move to the upside. For now, we're looking at this here to be the collective structure. And the question is whether this is ready to make a move to a downside or we still need to see one more leg before the actual move to the upside. Our indicator will tell us when that is ready to take place. Now let's go to the Europe pairs, Euro Audi. 
Euro Audi, we've been looking at this one to drop, uh, even though at some point we were looking at this one to give us this collective structure, but that was not the case. Now, the structure that we're seeing here is this one to have been a three wave moves uh, here. Remember, as I've said it, that this does not go to the equal legs. Most of the time, everybody's expecting it's going to be at the equal legs. Now, we're seeing this big drop to a downside uh, here. Again, these are fundamentals could be driving this. So, I'm still going to be expecting to see this one to be dropping to that downside uh, here on Euro Audi. So, Euro New Zealand, the same here. You see this one here. We're still expecting to see a bearish move to a downside to continue there as forecasted here. Again, the fundamentals could be in play here. Unfortunately, you cannot just come and sell this year after this big move to a downside. You've got to have to wait at least for a three way pullback. So, that three way pullback, you've got to be careful because somebody could just be seeing this year and they start to sell. We've had this year over 1,400 pips. So, if you need to see a significant pullback around this, at least to around the era of 50. 61.8 before we see a bearish move to a downside. But for now, all we know that intraday trading, we are going to be looking for this one to continue with that bearish move to a downside. Eurocat, similar here, we're still expecting to see this one to be making a drop to a downside. We could have had this one as a wave one, a wave two, a wave three here. So it's a matter of whether this wave three is already done. Are we ready for a collective structure? Or we still yet to see one more leg before we see this corrective wave structure, which should be our wave four. Then from there, we're going to be expecting to see a continuation move to a downside. Euro chief, uh, like I've said it here, that we're still expecting a continuation move to a downside, but you've got to be careful. I'm going to show you this here on a daily time frame. On a daily time frame, we have been looking at this collective structure here for quite some time. This will be an 11 swing sequence here. Three wave move down, three wave move up, three wave move down here, three wave move up, and this looks like it's almost done with that three wave move to a downside here. Obviously, this last leg here, it's not just a simply delta XY. We are looking at this one to be an 11 swing sequence so you can already see that uh, we will be coming to an end of this move around this area here. So somewhere around this area here, you're going to be expecting that we start to see a move to the upside on Euro Chief. But keep in mind, this is on a daily time frame. So we might still have around uh, two to 300 pips for a move to a downside before we see the actual move to the upside. So that's why I said, please be careful. You don't want to sell when uh, uh, on the market open because this might just trap you from here. There's nothing wrong with this. It can even start to make a move to the upside, even though the expectation would be for this one to drop uh, before we see that move to the upside there. Euro pound, you've seen this one during the uh, trade recaps. We're still expecting to see this one to make a bullish, uh, bearish move to a downside, at least for the three waves collective structure that is going to be equal to this leg uh, here. This thing, a three wave moves here, and then we're going to be expecting at least an equal legs of that move before we can even consider the bullish move to the upside. So this can still drop around this area here before we see this move uh, here. So again, do not just go and sell this here because it's at the critical levels. It must start to make a move to the upside uh, as well. Pound Ari, there's nothing to say much about this one here. It just keeps on dropping uh, here. So the pound pairs, zero pairs, they will keep on dropping here. So we're looking at this one to have completed this three words collective structure here. And we are looking for this bearish move to the down uh, side. Uh, let me just switch on some levels here. I want to show you what is why are we still looking for this bearish move here? Because we have been looking at this one to have been a three wave moves collective structure here, or it has been an 11 swing from the lows here. We've been looking at this to be an 11 swing, and we are looking for this bearish move to a downside. So if you're calling that this is a wave two, that will mean we still expect a very big move to a downside there. Yeah, let me just uh, show you where do we come from with that wave one. We That wave one is just coming from the peak uh, there. So your wave three will be uh, normally the 1.618 of your wave uh, one back to two. So you're going to be expecting at least time two this move to a downside uh, here. So do not look for the buying opportunities on a pound order. Instead, when you see the three waves pull back, you can look for that move to the downside uh, here. It should be the same as well with the pound New Zealand. We are still expecting for this one to continue with the drop to a downside, especially after such impulsively move here. We are still going to be looking for this one to give us these three waves pull back here. So this could be just um, uh, from the peak there, we could be having this one to have been our wave one here, and this to have been our wave two, and this to be our wave three here. So at some point, we could be expecting to see this wave four, and then move to a downside, or alternatively, 
be careful. This could be an impulsively move here, already done, and we might be getting this through a pullback that is going to be a deep one. But the pound pairs, uh, like I've said, based on the fundamentals, I'm not expecting those bigger corrections, at least not for now. At least it can come and take these lows here, then from there you can start to expect this bigger correction before we see a continuation move to that down air side. Pound cat would be the same here. We're still expect we're still looking at this one to have been a three-wave move here. So we're going to be expecting a continuation move to our downside. Three-wave move to the upside here. So we're still expecting this to continue with the drop, at least uh, to break these lows here. But as my, uh, the focus is still for this one here to continue, at least to come around the area of 160 here before we can see a move to the upside. Pound chief. Same thing here, we, we, if you remember very well, uh, last week, or not last week, rather, the previous week, uh, there was a possibility that this might have started a move to the upside uh, here, but that bu uh, bullish move to the upside has already been invalidated uh, here. So we could be having this one as a three-wave move to a downside, a move to the upside, and a move to a downside there, yeah, and this to be a connector again. So we could be expecting to see uh, one more leg to the downside uh, here on pound uh, chief. So the view was that for this one, uh, against this swing low here, it should continue with this uh, to be a three-wave move and a move to the upside. This has already invalidated this strategy so we should be expecting to see a bearish move to our downside so on the market open this can even still give you this three wave move you get this is a three wave move then you can look for the short opportunity to our downside uh, there now uh, let's have a look at the cross pairs out in new zealand nothing much to talk about this one here we've been looking at this one to have been a three waves move expanding flat collective structure here so against this swing low we're going to be expecting to see this one to be making a bullish move to the upside uh, same thing with audi cared we're looking at this one to continue the bullish move to the upside uh, here, especially that it has take this swing high here. So we're going to be looking at this here to have already started a move to the upside. So uh, if you are seeing a three wave move pull back against this swing low here, then you're going to be looking for this to be a continuation move to the upside here on Audi CAD. New Zealand CAD will be the same as well with Audi CAD. We're looking at this one to have started the bearish move, to, uh, the bullish move to the upside uh, here. So we're going to be looking for uh, these three waves pull back. You get these three pull backs against these swing lows here, then you can look for the continuation move to the upside there on New Zealand uh, CAT. Uh, Audi Chief, you saw this one here yeah, that we are looking for this one to be a three wave moves against this swing high here. Yeah, then we're going to be looking for the bearish move to the upside. But you got to be careful with this here. Yeah. We've seen a strength on the um, on the Aussie, so be careful as much as this is the focus here for this to complete the three wave moves against this swing high, the expectation for this one to drop. So you rather wait for an, uh, an impulsively move before you can consider to sell out a chief because this can easily make this move to the upside and invalidate this structure here. Or alternatively, this could still be the three wave moves here and move to a downside. This three wave move can still go and take this higher and we have an expanding flexible structure before we can consider a bearish move to the downside. Similar, uh, same thing with the New Zealand chief that focuses for this one to make a move to the upside against this swing high here. Yeah. So against this swing high, if you look at this here, this looks like a five way move to a downside here. Yeah. This being a one, two, a three here, a wave four, a wave five. So you're gonna be expecting to see this one to be a three wave move at least back to around the 50% of this whole move against this swing high. Then you're gonna be expecting that bearish continuation move to the downside. Cat chief. I think it will be expected, just like what we saw on a CAD JPY. We've seen this one to be making a move to the upside uh, here, and this to have been a three-wave move to a downside here. So we're going to be expecting to see this one to be making this one more leg to the upside before we can get this drop uh, here. But with uh, you, you got to be careful with the CAD chief. It might have done with the sequence and the cycle around these lows here, and it might not come back anytime soon. Instead of this one to just be a three-wave move like this, this might continue with this big move to the upside uh, there so be careful with that one all right so let's have a look at the commodity pairs uh, gold uh, let's have a look at gold gold is good uh, i'm going to show you some uh, other alternative view that you might have on gold yeah i know that the expectation was for this one to continue uh, dropping from the current levels but that might not be the case yes the focus is for this one to be the structure like this uh, here and then it must drop for this similar move yeah but gold might be done with this whole move to a downside and it might be ready for the new all-time high so we could be having this one to have ended our way for and this could be a start of a move to the upside uh, here. These two have been our wave one. Could be having this as a wave one and this here to be our wave two here. So what we could be having here 
two things that might happen this year being a diagonal here. But if this is going to be a leading diagonal, I know it looks very ugly, but it could be an expanding diagonal. That will mean we are going to see this one here at some point before we see a move to the upside. But the very likely thing to happen with gold is that this being our wave one here in a lower degree, obviously, and this to have been our wave two is a running flat here, and this is already in the wave three. So this might go back, hit the all time highs before we can even consider a pullback and a move to the upside. So you've got to be very careful. And most of the time, if we're having this uh, uh, fundamental or these was most of the investors, they will shift to gold. So gold might be ready for this move to the upside uh, here. But uh, the reason why I say that uh, this might still make this move to the upside is because you will see that uh, silver, on the other hand, it looks like it's giving us this corrective structure here. So you've got to be careful. You need a confirmation uh, there on gold. So silver, on the other hand, we could be having this year as a three wave move to a downside uh, here. And this year to be our uh, flat corrective structure here. So we could be having this one on a silver and this one to drop before the actual move to the upside. Yeah. Unless, of course, if gold is going to be the one that is leading silver, it might also mean that we need to be careful with silver as well, might have been done here and it is ready to make this move to the upside. But I still like the idea of this one. I think silver is a bit clear compared to gold that this might be a three wave move and we might still see this one to be trading lower for one more leg uh, here. Same thing applies to the platinum. Platinum looks like it's giving us this corrective structure here. So uh, it still remains to be seen with uh, gold. So platinum could be this the structure here, this thing a three wave moves here. And then we see this one to be making a similar leg to a downside with this one here before the actual move to the upside. But for that to happen, you still need to see a confirmation first. We've been using the special indicator that will tell us when this is ready. For now, it's just still showing us this bearish, uh, bullish move uh, to the upside uh, here. But you get an impassively move that's gonna be confirming this year, at least to take these lows here, then you can start to look forward the bearish move to a downside on platinum. Brand crude oil, on the other hand, like I've shared it, that this is keeps on making a new highs here. We are still looking at this one to continue with the bullish move to the upside, but at some point, this might uh, uh, start to make a move to the downside, but you don't have to try to pick the top. This is being our wave one. Uh, let me just uh, use the clear color here. This being our wave one here, our wave two, and this to have been our wave three here, and this to be a wave four. I'm sure you've seen this here during the trade uh, recaps. So we could be having this one for the last leg to the upside, and we expect Brent crude oil to be making a move to the downside. Yeah. I'm gonna go on the one hour time frame and I'm just gonna look from this low here. You remember I'm calling that this is a wave four here. So we could be having this one in the red uh, degree. This to be our wave one here. Uh, let me just, uh, I'm going to use the white degree here. In this case, here, the white color, we could be having this one to be our wave one, a wave two, this to be a wave three, and this could be in a sharp three waves use, uh, wave move being our wave four, and we could be having this last leg here being our wave five. So if you get that coming with a divergence, then you're going to be careful. Brand crude oil must start to make a move to the downside. But for now, we are still expecting this one to make a move to the upside, at least to come around the era of the 130 uh, do, uh, dollars per barrel before we expect a move to that down air side. Now let's have a look at the uh, indices. Uh, Nasdaq, uh, we are looking at this one to make a move to the upside uh, here, but that move to the upside still remains to be seen whether it's going to be an, uh, a move that will give us all time highs or it's just going to be a three waves uh, pullback. So we are looking at this one to have completed this being an 11 swing seconds to a downside. If you look at this, this does not look impossible if you look at the antenna. So the, they are all in three. So I'm looking at this one to be a WXYXZ uh, here that is completed here. And then that WXYX it, it could be a reversal that would go all the way up here or it just could be a bigger W in a bigger degree. So because this can still be a three wave move to the upside at least back to around the 50% and then we'll still see a similar move to this one here and get one more leg before the actual move to the upside. So we're going to wait we're going to wait for the market and take it one wave at a time. For now against this swing low we are looking at this here to be a three wave move and a short term move to around this area here whether this is going to drop from here it's going to make a continuation the market will tell us and the indicator will tell us as well. Uh, 
Dow Jones, same structure. We are looking at this one to have ended this uh, three waves creative structure here. So we could be having this one to be starting to make a move to the upside. With the US stock, they look to be holding with these lows uh, here. But you will see with the other stocks that they are already uh, trading uh, lower. So against this swing low, I'd like to see this one to be making a move to the upside, where it's going to be all the way up. But at least for now, we should get this one to be giving us this move to the upside. Yeah, it could be a three wave moves and then we see a drop here before the actual move to the upside or it could be making this move all the way to the upside uh, there. S&P 500 would be the similar as the Nasdaq and Dow Jones as well. Yeah, we're looking at this one to have completed this being a three wave moves uh, here, but it's still a matter of whether this is a three wave moves here that is going to give us the whole correction here, or we still yet to see this one here to be a three wave move and then three more wave to a downside. This being a simple W here, uh, wave X here, and then you still see this one to be a three wave move before the actual move to the upside uh, here. So it all depends whether this is going to make the move to the upside like this here, or it's just going to be an equal legs of this move here and then we see one more leg to a downside uh, here all right so dax on the other hand it has just traded lower here but i think it would be expected fundamentally because this is a german index so with the what is happening in europe so uh, we could be have we could have had this one here uh, uh, this being our wave one our wave two and that would be an invalidation level here so i'm looking at this one to be the whole five wave move to the upside and we could be having if this keeps on trading uh, trading against this swing low here uh, against this swing low here that i've got here then i'm going to be looking at this here to be our wave one and this to be a sharp three wave move uh, here and i'm going to be looking for that move to the upside but again you don't have to try and pick the ball Bottom, wait for this one to give an impulsively move. Then from there, if you get a three-way pullback, you can start to look for the possibility of that move to the upside uh, there. Nifty. The expectation would be for this one to make a move to the uh, uh, to the upside there. Yeah, we could be done with this being a corrective structure here, this being a move to a downside uh, here, this being our connector here is an expanding flat corrective structure, three-way move down here. So we could be having this as a W here, our uh, wave X, and this to be a three-way move being our uh, wave Y. Then from there, we can expect that this is done here and we should see a move to the upside. But again, don't just uh, uh, buy it need to see a confirmation there. Uh, Nikki, for quite some time, we've been talking about this structure here. So it's still meant to be seen if this is ready to make a move to the upside. But we're looking at this one to be in a three-wave move here, three-wave move up, and this to be a three-wave move to our downside here. So we can still see at least one more leg here, and then we see this one to be making that move to the upside. The whole thing being a WXY corrective structure here on Nikki. So a bigger picture here, we're looking at this here to be a wave four. So you can go and see why we're calling this a wave four. If you see that, then expect that you're going to see this one to be making a move to the upside. Right, uh, guys, that's mark the end of our weekly outlook. I hope you guys enjoyed this year. And if you did, uh, you can give us a thumbs up uh, and like our pages there. Right, so cheers everybody and have a great week. And those who are interested in the crypto is gonna take place uh, shortly. Cheers and bye-bye.